hello friends my name is Taufik and you're watching my channel graphics then so in this video of coral raw we are going to see couple of tools uh, the first one of which is the live sketch tool the hotkey for live sketch tool is s so this works basically pretty much similar to the freehand tool and the technique or the method to use it or to draw it pretty much similar to the freehand tool so what I have to do to use this I have to simply create but before that remember there are few different properties as compared with the freehand tool which you can clearly see which are which we are going to explain in this video so first of all let me draw any random stroke so as you can see we can see couple of lines and it is converted into one line now so I'll undo this control Z or command Z so this blue line that is the stroke that I drew but that got converted into this smooth line so this is the original line and that got converted into this smooth line so the smoothness will depend upon this value this particular value which I had kept it to 36 so uh, let us see what will happen if I keep it to 0 so it won't change or the smoothing level will be minimum or it will be nothing so I, again I will draw a line now as you can see this is pretty much uh, similar to the blue line I control Z so as you can see this is the the stroke that I drew but this is the output the final result this black line so as I increase the curve smoothing level it will again the smoothing level will increase here as well so we'll see a couple of other examples I will delete this so let's say if I keep it to 100 maximum and I draw so this is the original line that I drew and this is the output value as you can see it will get converted into the output value once this time the timer stops or the timer ends so presently I have kept it to 2.7 seconds so after 2.7 seconds the original stroke is converted into the final output according to the values that we have chosen in this case I have chosen the 100% smoothing curve value so let me turn off this particular value now what will happen if I keep it to 0 then I will keep it to 0 then this will be immediately converted into the final output like this you can barely see the original stroke because it will get converted into immediately get converted into the final output so again I will delete this if I keep it to let's say 3 seconds then we will clearly see both the strokes the original stroke and the output value so after 3 seconds it will get converted into the final output so where to use these tools uh, pretty much similar to the pen tool and the freehand tool this can be used for tracing as well as for creating new shapes objects uh, mostly uh, my students use this for fashion designing drawing their croquis or uh, drawing strokes while uh, designing their clothes or whatever in the fashion designing industry or textile industry I'm not saying that it is not used in the other industries it can be also used for creating or drawing characters animated characters or rough drawing but uh, mostly my students use it for use it in the fashion designing to, for drawing croquis or uh, pretty much similar things so we'll again see so as I increase this time so the time will increase between the the line withdraw and the final output as you can see after three seconds it will get converted into the final result so keep it according to your convenience and now this value distance from curve as you can see I'm drawing a simple curve but even though I don't touch this curve it will get continued because I have kept 40 pixels value that's why it is now this is a bit more than 40 pixels that's why it got separated but if I keep it keep the next line under 40 pixels then it will 
it will continue with the single line as you can see I will show it to you again so this is the line and if I draw it closer to it it will get like this let me show it to you again I have to draw it once again to show it to make it clear like this as you can clearly see because the timing is 3 seconds that's why it is taking longer time I will delete all the things and I will show you again it is still processing let me just undo this I will delete this look it will continue if it is under 40 pixels then it will continue otherwise it will draw a different line but if we turn on this option this particular option which says create single curve so it will create only a single curve as long as we do not cross this time threshold which is 3 seconds if we wait for 3 seconds then it will create a different line but if we keep it under 3, three seconds then it will only create a single line like this as you can see like this even though I am drawing much farther from the the last end if you want to call it like this so it will only create a single line like this so you will uh, you can keep it to keep these values according to your convenience this curve values and and this is preview mode if you don't want this preview this is called as the preview the original stroke and the final output this is called as the preview if you don't want that preview if it is disturbing you then you can simply turn this off so you will only see the original and after some time after this time has elapsed then you will see the final output you won't see both the strokes together but it is recommended to turn this on maybe if you don't want it you can always turn this off and the final value is the bounding box if you don't want the bounding box what is the bounding box so this is the bounding box if you don't want it you can simply turn this off by clicking it over here so this is the live sketch tool pretty much similar to the freehand tool um, a bit more advanced or few more properties you can always check these properties out then again we have smart drawing tool smart drawing tool basically it recognizes the shapes that we are trying to draw so let's say if I if I'm trying to draw a circle but uh, drawing a perfect circle by hand it's pretty difficult but if I try it by using the smart drawing tool it will try to convert this as you can see I drew a rough circle but the smart drawing tool converted it into a perfect circle let's see if I want to draw an oval shape an oval shape so this will convert it into an oval shape and this is the recognition level what is the recognition level that you want and the smoothing levels that you want but to be honest I don't use this tool that much because you can perform the similar activities by using other tools like we have ready-made tools for circles ellipse rectangles and all other stuff we have pen tool by using which or bezier tool using those tools we can draw any shapes that we want so but you can still try it out let's say if I want to draw a star or let's say if I want to draw a rectangle so this is a pretty rough rectangle but it will convert this into a rectangle but remember you have to be closer to a shape that it could recognize so if I draw this shape this is not a shape so you cannot name this shape this is a random shape so it won't convert it into any shape because this is a random shape abstract shape but it will smoothen it nevertheless so if I try to draw let's say a rectangle 
it will try to recognize the shape and it will convert it into a rectangle. Let's say if I try to draw a star, I beg your pardon, like this, a star maybe, like this. I'll try it again. So it will try to draw it into a draw star. So this is basically it. It recognizes or rather it tries to recognize the shapes that you want to draw and it convert the shapes into the final output according to its AI. It basically is the artificial intelligence of Coral Raw. So you can always try it out but personally I don't use this tool that much but you can always give it a go. So I hope you like this video and this video is useful for you. So I'll see you in the next one. Until then bye bye and cheers.